What's going on, everybody? Tim from Tierphone Orbital. I'm right back. I feel like we were just we were just here. It's like I just saw you. Uh, anyway, so this is a follow-up video to the one that I literally just recorded. I wanted to do a separate video for this install and also talk about the hilt. This is a second hilt from Space Junk Sabers. This one is super unique. Okay, I. I know it doesn't make sense because all of Space Drunk Saber's hilts are unique, but I have yet to see one with a crystal reveal like this, so it's super unique to me. The A, a lot of Nevin's hilts uh, that I have worked on have been either Coran Horn inspired or Speeder Bike inspired hilts. This, however, is an entirely different beast. And what a beast it is. It is absolutely rad and unique. It has an exposed crystal. So let's really get into it and talk about it, right? So here, let's, let's go up top. So here it is. Nevin is calling this the Copper Flex with an exposed crystal. crystal. Uh, it is called a Copper Flex because we have copper all over this hilt. So there's some copper rings along the pommel. Uh, making our way up to the grip section, there is a copper... Uh, a ring around this grip section, and this Graflex emitter section is also copper. I don't know where he gets these parts from. I, I don't. I, I wish I did. I, I've not seen a copper Graflex top section like this. I, you know, so we know that the flash guns, the original Graflex flash guns, are chrome-plated brass. So I've seen brass ones. You can, you can get replica Graflex top sections and you can just get get rid of the chrome and you'll get a nice shiny brass but I've, I've not yet seen copper but man does this thing look beautiful there's a really really nice etched ring around this top section the entire switch assembly looks like it's a custom switch assembly I will say that these buttons so this button is from Kalaminian Customs it's a copper momentary switch, but this switch assembly, I mean, I think that Nevin actually made this switch assembly because underneath this red button is just a regular uh, like three millimeter high uh, tactile switch, but the entire assembly that all of that is in is custom. I mean, this, this is why I really appreciate Sabersmiths that, that work everything custom like that. I mean, I, as a maker myself, I can really, really, really begin to appreciate the amount of work and design that goes into a hilt like this. This heat sink, I mean, this heat sink looks like it's from a computer part, like a motherboard. I mean, th this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about where, you know, you really put time in designing and, you know, putting an artistic composition together for a hilt like this, okay? Uh, we've got a D-ring. This is a triangular D-ring. I, I just, this thing is beautiful. This thing is absolutely rad, right? So, oh, and we've got an exposed crystal. Like, like how can we forget talking about that? So the exposed crystal, Nevin made his own modular cr uh, crystal holder with brass pins in it to hold the crystal. There's a small quartz point that's inside of this thing. And this whole thing slides out, which really made it easy for me as the installer to get my conductor wires through it and all of that. But we'll talk about that after we talk about the chassis. Let's talk about the chassis real quick. So this is the chassis that I designed for this hilt, okay? Uh, most of the hilts that I have received from Nevin have been that MHS V2 style inner diameter hilt. So there's not a ton of room to play with as far as like greebly work. And, and larger speaker size and all of that. But with this particular hilt, I had plenty of room in the grip. I think I had like 30 or 32 millimeters inside the grip for this hilt. So I had plenty of room to, you know, get really, really detailed with my Greeley work. Uh, we had room for a 28 millimeter speaker. So I put a 28 millimeter base speaker from the Sabre Merchant in this one. Uh, and with, so let's talk about this Greeley work. So with this chassis, the main body of the chassis I just printed off in black resin, okay? I separately designed Greeblies that fit the chassis, but printed them off in a different color. So like this Greebly, I printed off in a red translucent resin. 
These greeblies on the side here, I printed these off in a red translucent resin. And this particular greebly here, so this is like modeled after, after a formed stator motor, um, you know, complete, complete greebly overkill. I mean, let's be honest. This is completely unnecessary detail on a chassis. This part alone is like two, two millimeters or three millimeters big. So you don't get that much detail at the end of the print. But sometimes I have a tendency to start designing stuff and I'll get like lost in the design and forget how small things are. And that was the case here. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's like art to me. It's, it's cathartic. I start designing and I can't stop. So this form stator motor, I, I printed this separate as well. And I did like a gold buff and rub along that and then glued it to the chassis afterwards. Got Tierphone Orbital uh, embossed in that circle there. We've got our profi board tray here. And around the back, I did uh, a kill switch, but I, I kicked the kill switch 90 degrees or 45 degrees on this chassis. Usually I do them side to side, but I wanted to do something different here. Uh, and I did it like 12 and 6 o'clock, uh, like pointing up and down. And I did on and off embossed on the chassis as well. That's something different. I've, I've never done that on my chassis. I just thought, why not do that as a... There's a little extra detail, and I guess now I'm going to have to do it from now on because I've set a precedent for myself, right? Uh, chassis is it? Excuse me. Chassis is a stationary chassis. It marries up into the hilt in this section here, and it is secured with a set screw, and that's it. So let's talk about this bad boy and how to use it, okay? Grip unscrews. And here is the chassis. So there's those painted parts that I was talking about. So I did that red translucent resin on that particular greebly and that ring is nice and gold. Here's those tiny, tiny, tiny red translucent resin greeblies on the sides and there's your kill switch. So to use the hilt, let's turn it off. So to use the hilt, you wanna put your battery in, negative side is towards the speaker. It's this spring section here. Put your battery in, turn your kill switch on. <laughs> And you will get an audible cue. No NeoPixels on this one, sorry. Uh, so with the Profi board, this is press fit right into this section of the chassis. If you do need to, I mean, you've got plenty of room to take your SD card out and put a 90 degree uh, USB cord on this, but if you don't, that Profi will flip up if need be. Turn your kill switch on, slide your grip on, screw it until it stops and you're ready to go. <coughs> Here is that crystal chamber, okay, so you can see, let's come down to the bottom, so you can see around that crystal, I have, I have two very small Nico SMD LEDs. I put these in my recent Subversion install, they were like blue flickering ones, these are orange and white flickering ones. I got these from the same supplier. Their name is Evan Designs, and they do a lot of LEDs for models, like train, train models and things like that. So this is a, it's supposed to look like a fire on the inside of a fireplace for like a very small model. But what I like about these SMD Pico LEDs is that from Evan Designs, he ships in all one modular piece. Actually, I think I have one here. So, it's all one wire harness, which makes it really easy to add as like an accent for a crystal chamber. So they're small, obviously, you're probably not even going to be able to see this. Very, very small Pico SMD LEDs, but there's a, a controller, a blinking controller here that's built in, to, and you just have two leads, a positive and negative, and you just wire that up. I actually, for this one, I wired it up to the out positive and negative on the crystal chamber NeoPixel. So when that NeoPixel lights, it also lights those LEDs. Just a cool little, it just saves me a little bit of time and, and headache because you know soldering those, those tiny SMD LEDs is really hard. I don't have the steadiest of hands on a good day. And I drank a lot of coffee, so doing small soldering like that is difficult for me. So, I've got two of those, one on each side of the crystal. Okay. You can kind of see that here. 
<laughs> so with this crystal chamber, what I appreciated uh, that Nevin did is it, it, it's modular. So I was able to pull this entire crystal chamber out. It's held in place with a set screw around back here. But I was able to take that whole thing out uh, and figure out my wire management that way. Now, because I had six conductors coming all the way up to the top here, I did need to make some modifications to the back of that crystal chamber modular, modular, module, module. I did have to make some adjustments on that. I had to route some holes, uh, grind some holes into those fins just to make room for some more wires. But other than that, it was just a, it's a perfectly designed crystal chamber modular, mo <laughs> perfectly designed crystal chamber module. And it was a breeze to, to wire up, right? So let's talk about how to use the saber, right? So this top red button is your main, the, cop uh, the copper button is your aux. We've got a couple of different fonts on here. The Emperor's Hand. So I've got some different configs for each font in that crystal chamber. And all of them have that cool down effect as well. So to put a blade in it, let's put a blade in it. With this one, you want to make sure that your set screw is loose. So there's a top brass set screw from Nevin, that's the very, very top screw here that's gonna act as your blade retention. You slide your blade in, this is a pretty deep, uh, a pretty deep emitter, so there's plenty of room to grab that blade. And then you wanna tighten your set screw. Let's make sure I've got the right size here. Tighten your set screw, make sure it's hugging the blade, and you're ready to go. Activated it muted. So also what I like about the top of this emitter are these all of these holes have some nice shine through. Okay. Man, 21 meter speaker sounds awesome. Let's see what else we have on here. Sense an unusual amount of fear for something as trivial as this trade dispute. I mean, that 20 millimeter sounds really, really good in there. Ben Kenobi? So that's it. Just a really, really nice quick rundown on another. <laughs> Guys, I cannot speak highly enough of this guy. I really can't. It's going to start sounding like I'm a fanboy, but I, I think I am. I mean, I'm a, just a huge fan of Space Junk Speeder, Space Junk Sabers, Hilts. Uh, I, you know, I just really, really appreciate custom made stuff. Um, I think the word I'm looking for is bespoke, and that's truly what uh, some of the designs from Nevin are. I, uh, I just love them, man. Like I, I, <laughs> I hope to have uh, my own someday. I, I, it's, they're, they're beautiful. They're beautifully designed hilts. So enough gushing for the day. I, I thank the, the client to you. I, I really appreciate you trusting me with your installs to the viewers Listen, everybody, thank you so much for your support. I, I feel like I'm starting to make a lot of great strides in the community, and it's only because of the people that have been there for me in the beginning. Um, I This community has been such a great deal of help to me. I... I typically am on the lightsaber discord, you know, and that's a lot of that is because uh, it satisfies my instant gratification at like I have a very short attention span. So it's easy for me to pop on discord and, and talk about stuff or get help. And because the community there is so supportive, 
Um, you know, if I ever have an issue, somebody's always, you know, willing to help. And I try to do the same. I try to pay it forward if anybody else is, is looking for help with, you know, with builds or config or anything like that. But I, you know, lately I've just been really uh, reflecting on, uh, you know, how great this community is and how much, uh, you, know, for, I, you know, I made some friends along the way uh, and, and you people know who you are. I, I just wanted to take a minute to say I appreciate everybody and thank you very much for your help and your support. Uh, you, you all are awesome and, you know, thanks for taking the time to watch me ramble through these videos. <laughs> it's not always easy. Uh, you know, I... I I, I'm not organized, so I don't have a script that I run off of. I just kind of go off the cuff and, and talk about uh, the things that I like and the things that I build. And, you know, if you like it, you like it. And if you don't, that's okay, too. <laughs> you know? So, anyway, I'm rambling again. Thanks, everybody, for your support. You all rock. The client, thank you very much again. And uh, with that being said, may the force be with you always.